Hello, welcome to the Power Slide uh, tutorial video. In this series of uh, video, we're gonna cover the basic uh, element you need to master to make fast progress on inline skate. I'm Pascal Briand, I'm a professional inline skater, and uh, today's video will focus on uh, the basics. There is four basic uh, elements you need to, to master on your skate. First, you need to be able to stand on one skate. Second, you need to be able to jump on your skate. Third, you need to be able to turn away on your skate. And then you need to be able to skate backwards. When you master these four elements, your progression on inline skate will be much faster. Today, we focus on how to stand on one skate. So first element, uh, you want to learn how to stand on one skate because it will improve your gliding moment on the skate. If you are not able to stand on one skate, you will just repeat many small steps and it will make you tired much faster. Most of the time you're probably impressed with some skater and it looks so easy to skate. It's because they can enjoy the rolling moment of the skate. It's because they are very good balance on one skate. So to get good balance on one skate, what we need to do is to be able to bring basically your gravity center. So for us, it's almost the belly button here and you need to bring it over your skate over the skate where you're standing when you're rolling and to help for doing this you want to take a little bit outside edge on your skate to be able to maintain this if you are not taking a little bit outside edge or if your gravity center is too much to the side it will make your body always fall to the inside and this is for this will force you to always push push and you get basically much uh, faster tired on inline skate. So let's jump on some exercise and try to basically take a little bit of speed, go on one skate and try to put the gravity center just over the wheels on one skate. Of course you need to make this exercise on the left leg and on the right leg. This is the basic. Uh, you don't want uh, to be good only on one leg, you want to be as good at standing on one skate on each leg. So one of the minimum would be uh, to be able to roll like 10 meters on one skate, uh, find a good place, quite flat if possible, and try to practice this. Try to go straight, follow one line. So for example, if there is no mark on the line, you can draw one line if you want and try to be able to maintain your speed on one skate and go straight. In a second part, when you master this element, you can also start to learn how to change edge to edge on your skate on one leg. So here, the most classic exercise would be to do a little slalom. So first, uh, you can put the cones with a quite big distance in between and slowly you bring the cones uh, closer to each other and try to use your edge, outside edge, inside edge, uh, to control your skate and move left and right. So that's a second element that is important to know uh, when you want to stand good on one skate. Standing good on one skate will help you also to uh, do spanning from one leg to another. If you are comfortable on one leg and on the other, there will, there will be many situations in skating uh, where you need to go from one leg to another. To, uh, for example, when you, uh, there is an obstacle on the road, uh, something that could be uh, disturbing your technique, you need to switch from one leg to another. So that's why we want to work this basic element. So it's very important to be able to stay good and to be balanced on one skate. When you have these skills, you will see it will really help you to improve uh, all your technique later and it will make you more safe in many situations when you want to avoid or go around an obstacle on the road or if somebody is coming and you need to change your direction being good on one skate is one of the basic you need to master. Also, remember, it's always important to wear your protection. Make sure your helmet, your helmet is nicely attached, that you put it nicely under the ears correctly, that it's being straight. Also, you can use, of course, all the protection. It's always a good advantage. Here I'm using the knee protection, the elbow and the wrist protection. And when you start skating, when you want to learn, it will give you more confidence to try more exercise to try more things on your skate. So don't be afraid to use protection. 
it's very uh, helpful to make your progress come faster. Thanks for following this video. So I will explain you in the next video how to jump to do some little basic jump on your skate. That will be uh, in the next episode. Thanks for following and see you soon.